bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to another French Hawes Mystery Beer Review, number 10, sponsored by The Party Source <laughs> out of Bellevue, Kentucky. Uh, the Party Source sent us some glassware, some balloons, some stickers, stickers. and a cool uh, magnetic board game. Nice. Um, thank you guys. You guys have been following us for a bit. You joined us for some live stuff. And we've checked out some of your reviews on uh, on the YouTube there. Yeah. And uh, you guys should uh, check out some of the reviews they do. They're they're actually pretty good. Excellent. Uh, maybe as good as us, if not better. Wow. <laughs> good for them. Um, so we wanted to use your guys uh, the, the the glasses you sent us for um, mystery review number ten, which I have a beer for Jeff tonight. Nice. Um, Jeff does not know anything about this beer that is in this bag here, and uh, I will be pouring it, and he will dissect it. It's in a can. Try to give us the style, the alcohol content, possibly even the IBUs if if they were available, um, and um, we'll go from there. So here we go. It's um, it's always fun to do these. I think it's the truest way to taste a beer, actually. So I'm gonna put this off to the side since the can is not revealed yet, and we'll let Jeff take it from here. Okay. Let me see what I can do with it. All right. Uh, it smells like a beer. It smells like beer, okay. Yeah. Um, I just want you to know ahead of time, I have not had this beer. Okay. Um, this, uh, I'm not gonna say that. It might give something away. I'll say it later. All right, it's very clear. Definitely filtered. Okay. Medium, small. I actually got a large bubble or two in there too. Just, I didn't clean this glass too well. There's a lot of bubbles going in. You did mine, right? <laughs> Ooh. Very floral. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that too. Um, not urinal cake floral. No, nope. not floral. You do that so well. I have to tell you about the Christmas party I was at. And I got drunk and he had a button down white shirt on <laughs> and he's swirling his red wine talking to his wife and it's just splashing <laughs> and you shirt. just let him go yeah, yeah. Yeah, you let him go good for you I would have let him go too you shouldn't have been drinking beer instead of wine that was his first mistake and don't fill the glass on that. yeah yeah uh, the party store hmm. the party source excuse me in Bellevue Kentucky is a liquor this is very interesting beer store slash party supply store and they deliver i mean that is just incredible um yeasty floral smell that's what i'm getting okay yeah i can i i totally agree with you you want to give it a taste if you can make me i will Hmm. Wow. Fruity. Um, what is that? That's a melon of some sort. Or a sweet. Sweet up front. I... This is interesting. This is really interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> that floralness flower power didn't carry through it's on the taste yeah um what is that? i'll kind of fill you in on my th like no knowing ahead of time what's going on i'll what tell you that? i'll tell you after you lay it out for us um, so 
Style wise, what do you think you got there? I'm not sure. <laughs> Alcohol content, any kind of guess? I'm trying to figure out what fruity flavor I'm tasting that's so familiar. Okay. That's good. It's very good. Yeah, it's very unique, I think. Um, very different tasting beer for me. What are you tasting? Melony? Yeah, like a melon. How about... Um, I don't know. It's... Any maltiness? Any sweetness? No, it's or hops. Sweet or what do you? Hops, what's no. what's kind of uh, the melon is really kicking me in the face. Yeah. Bite aftertaste. It's good. It's good. I'm I'm gonna go with like a seven percent alcohol. Okay. Ish. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I have ID. I do have IBUs. What's your IBU guess? 48. Okay. I'm pulling that out of my ass. Too. Okay. What is that flavor that's so familiar? Style. I need a style. I almost have to go with an IPA. I don't know if it's New England or not. I'm guessing not because it's not juicy. All right. But it has, it's either a pale ale or a IPA. Um, what the fuck is that? Most importantly, what is, what's your score? Do you like this beer? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good beer. Okay. Uh, four, three? Okay, I was four and a quarter. Um, four, three, Jeff. Four and a quarter for me. All right, you want. It's almost like the Tangelo effect. effect. You want the reveal? I really want. This is a tricky one, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel the description that that I have here it's accurate. fits at all what I'm tasting and seeing. Um, I tend to agree with what you're saying. I think had I not had not knowing this beer, I would have described it. Similarly to what you did, the only difference may have been I, I would have cranked up the IBUs to like 80 or something. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but all right. So here we have donated by John Ramsey, okay. who has donated this brewery before, and that's why I didn't want to mention him. It's a little slim can from Six Point. Okay. This is Puff. Oh, I never had this one. Puff is their cloudy double IPA. Not cloudy. cloudy. <laughs> um, double IPA could be true. Um, <clears throat> Six Point is in Brooklyn, New York, founded in 2004. So this is is their unfiltered, extra hopped version of resin, which we we've, we've had quite a few times. Oh wow, way boozier than I thought. Um, Nine point eight percent, hidden very well. So I can see where you'd say seven yeah. percent. I definitely would not think, I wouldn't even venture into 8% with this, tasting no. it. Yeah. So I can see where you got that. They have it listed at 108 IBUs. I, I don't think it's that strong tasting. I got a lot more sweetness as far, not multi sweetness, like uh, fruity sweetness and, you know, whatever that happens. I don't see it, it says unfiltered ale on the can. So the only difference between this and resin from what they're saying is they give it an extra dose of dry hops and it's unfiltered. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same beer. Um, I drank a lot of resin. We had three friends who rated this one on Untapped. One of them being John Ramsey, and the other being his his buddy Tommy, who um, works with him, who's always commenting and watching the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember who the other one was. 4.42 was their average, and 55,000 ratings on Untapped at 4.04, which I thought was low. Um, a little bit. I mean, over that, but you get a. We're somewhere in the middle. Yeah. We're at a, a 4275 <laughs> or 76 repeating. Yeah. Something like that. Um, so that. I. 
you know, some people watching this might say, oh, well, he didn't do that great. But this description on their site does not fit what, what I'm tasting and, and what you're tasting. And I can see exactly why you went that route of a lower um, percentage and not quite... I probably went way too low on the idea. Not but. quite sure on the style, though, because the style, it is tricky. It does have a melony, floral... Yeah brightness to it freaking melon is but let's not hide the fact that this is a very good beer mm. it's very good um easy for us to find here in rhode island i'm not sure what the availability is where you guys are i don't know that i've ever seen puff though. six point has a lot of good beers and, yeah. and you gotta be careful with the alcohol it's it's it's, it's hot yeah. yeah um but i thought that was an interesting one to do uh, we like a lot of their beers, and uh, John John uh, knows one of the distributors for them, I believe. Okay. Um, so he's always able to get stuff. We had one of those special releases from yeah. from him. I can't remember the name right now. Anyways, another mystery beer. beer. This is number ten in the uh, in in the database now. And thank you, John, for the donation. Check us out Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, four p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We release our reviews. Uh, look in the description down below if you'd like to buy a shirt. Uh, we've got Redbubble account. Mm -hmm. um, and everywhere else you can find us on social media. Friend us on Untapped. That'd be great. We'd like to know what you're drinking. You can see what we're drinking. Um, FHBR on Untapped. So uh, send us a friend request and uh, we'll probably accept it. Maybe. Depends who you are. So Nice job. And this was a tricky one. It um, was. It was delicious though. I expected I expected it to look like a New England IPA, and it did not. It looks pretty filtered to me. Crystal clear in my eyes. Yeah. I, I'd like to line this up next to a resin and really see if there is any difference. Because this did not even look like, right. a, like a Hefeweizen to me. No. So. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Our French Host Beer Reviews. Reviews. Have a great night. Bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French hot.